Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. The following is a six-man tornado tag team match. Introducing first from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. The WWE Champion, John Cena! Without a doubt, one of the greatest competitors in WrestleMania history. There's a reason he earned the name Big Match John. Second competitor to ever reach double-digit wins at the Showcase of the Immortals. In fact, many would say one of the biggest wins in Cena's WrestleMania career is when he defeated The Rock at WrestleMania 29 for the WWE Championship. His name is John Cena, a 16-time world champion. The title collector is here. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, L.A. Nice. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Brock It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. intimidating and imposing competitor in WWE history. And one of the most awe-inspiring entrances in all of sports entertainment. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, The Undertaker! At WrestleMania, The Undertaker has the most revered undefeated streak ever. 
Legends have been slain. Legends destroyed. Listen to the list. Kane, Orton, Edge, Michaels, Triple H, Cena, all have fallen to The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Even the showcase of Immortals is overcome by darkness. The Phenom's opponent has got to know that the end is near on the grandest stage. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. is the moment where there is no turning back for the Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. The title collector is here. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The Tribal Chief has arrived and representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the hardcore champion, Roman Reigns. The head of the table is at the showcase of the Immortals. We've seen Reigns defeat the all-time greats here at WrestleMania. Edge, Triple H, The Undertaker. But there's no bigger win than winning the biggest WrestleMania match in history, unifying the WWE and Universal titles by defeating Brock Lesnar. to continue his unparalleled domination.
Teams in their respective corners. We're going to get a chance to see John Cena, L.A. Knight, and Brock Lesnar. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Undertaker, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns. Quick tags, stay fresh, are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has a better teamwork to stick to that strategy? Single arm underhook into a nice takedown. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Stiff punch. Now that'll do some serious damage. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Pressing the right sweep. Punch lands. Rock Brock red lays it. Chop in the face gets them out of that spot. This is not what he wants to 
We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. No quarter being given. The superstar setting up for what now? What's a move? What the world? Looking for the home run. This will end it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it. What a name. The Undertaker in a bad way. Two. Oh, kicks out. Kicks out. It does not get much tougher than The Undertaker. And a kick out here is the greatest proof we have seen from way up.
throwing all cross into the ring. Spinning in the face of danger. Able to sidestep it. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to keep? <laughs> what power? Oh, it gets put into the barricade. And that was a well executed attack. Taker just turned his luck. Oh, no, I know what Randy's thinking. This one ain't well. That could be shoulders down. Makes the cover. And there's the win. Huge win here tonight. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Here are your winners. The Undertaker, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns. Got to give these three credit for an amazing victory here tonight. This win is spreading like a wildfire. The electricity in this arena is almost palpable.